How does the opposite-opposite property apply when we're working with rational numbers in fraction form? Well, let's take a look at an example and see how we can work this out. Let's say we have 3 fourths and we're going to take away a negative 1 half. We know that the opposite-opposite property says that when you're taking away a negative, it's the same thing as adding the opposite of the second number, or of adding a positive. So we can rewrite this problem as 3 fourths plus 1 half. Now we have a very simple problem where we're adding two positive rational numbers. The first thing we have to do to figure this out is we have to find a common denominator between 4 and 2. We can choose 4. If we choose 4 as our common denominator, here, let's rewrite that down here on the bottom, the first rational number, 3 fourths, is going to stay the same. Now we're going to rename 1 half in terms of fourths. 2 goes into 4 twice, times the numerator of 1 becomes 2. Now we can add these together. We have 3 fourths plus 2 fourths. Our denominators are the same. We bring that over to the solution. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 fourths is a rational number, but it's improper. Let's convert it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 5 once with 1 fourth left over. So this is the solution to that problem. Let's look at another one. Let's say I have a negative 7 eighths and I'm going to take away a negative 1 third. Now according to the opposite opposite property I have a negative being taken away, and so this is the same as adding the opposite of the second rational number. So now I have negative 7 eighths plus 1 third. Before I can even work with these two rational numbers, I have to find a common denominator. What is the common denominator of 8 and 3? We can say that the common denominator is 24. So we need to rename both these rational numbers in terms of 20 fourths. This one has a negative, so we're going to bring that down so that we don't forget it. 8 goes into 24 three times. 3 times the numerator 7 is 21. 3 goes into 24 eight times. 8 times the numerator 1 is 8. Let's move this to the next screen. Here I have negative 21 20 fourths plus 8 20 fourths. I can bring 24 over into my solution. Now, notice in my numerator I have a negative 21 plus a positive 8, so I need to find the difference between 21 and 8. The difference between 21 and 8 is 13. And because I had a greater loss than gain, my answer is going to be negative. The solution to this problem is negative 13 24ths.